They warn the students actually and they say, if you start working on airplanes, you don't want to work on anything else. So like motorcycles and cars just don't quite do it. It's an industry where you can write your own plane ticket to anywhere in the world once you've had some training here in Campbell River. The infrastructures program is, uh, was designed to meet Transport Canada's requirement for the Aircraft Maintenance Engineer S license. So it uh, brings the skills to overhaul airplanes to actually has two streams. One is servicing airplanes and one is manufacturing airplanes. Uh, we service both of them. The servicing we do here, it's taking an unserviceable airplane, uh, do the repairs that are required and bring it back into service again. The manufacturing would be making new airplanes, actually have new materials, manufacture new airplane parts. Uh, transport looks at the two streams in a different way. We support them both and the students make up their minds after the program where they want to go. Graduates are in demand and ready to put their skills to work. And with those skills come opportunities. With my job here, I, I do different things all the time. Nothing is ever really the same. So uh, I'm doing different things and that's what I really like. It keeps my brain, you know, keeps the neurons firing. I like that. I'm working on the DC-3 which is uh, about a 60 year old airplane and just rebuilding interior panels. The panel here that keeps the wires and insulation from getting caught on the control column while they're flying. And I got out of the program and got a job the next day. So worked out really well for me. Well before you go into the program you definitely want to make sure that you really enjoy aviation and then it is probably one of the better, it is probably the best program for that because there's so much hands on. Yeah, that was the best thing about the course is that, you know, we were only in the classroom for like an hour and a half, two hours, and then the rest of the day was all in the shop. So it was, it was a lot of fun to be there. It wasn't just all sitting in a classroom all day. Um, there'll be times when there's intense pressure to uh, get an aircraft that needs to fly, to fly by a certain time. And um, you can't compromise your standards to, to, to let it out sooner than it should. It's... It has to be perfect, it has to be done right, but it also has to be done in a timely fashion and having the mindset to I don't know, plan out your work so that way it gets done at the, at the right time, in the right way. I've been incredibly satisfied with what happens with the kids from the college. Uh, usually when they come out, they're motivated, they, they have learned the basic skills that we need. Um, I know Rudy teaches them, he gears them up for this sort of industry he, he meets all the requirements for Transport Canada for them to pass the course, but focuses on what industry needs, and it really shows. Well, for us, we're involved in uh, assisting Viking in their manufacture of the Twin Otter. And that's, we're trying to ramp up production, trying to get more of their market. Uh, right now, we, we manufacture the elevators, ailerons, and rudder for the brand new Twin Otter. They currently have sold roughly 70 aircraft, which are being shipped all around the world. Uh, at our current rate of production, that's five years' work. There's still space available for this program, and the price is right. Accreditation with Canadian Forces means free tuition and expenses. For more information, you can visit the website. In Campbell River for Shaw TV, I'm Marjorie Greaves.